internet. Today we convert my folding bike into an e-bike. Last time when I made a video of power wheel on my other bike, some viewers suggest me to try the LV BU wheel. It's the wheel that you connect to the battery and use the Bluetooth to control the power wheel. They offer different sizes for all type of bikes. And this is the 20 inch wheel for my folding bike. They have already installed a tire for you, and you can see it has rim brake edge and the disc brake hose. So this wheel can be used on both rim brake and the disc brake bikes. In the middle of the wheel is the motor. It is a 250 watt motor. The whole wheel don't feel very heavy. And I removed the tire to compare the weight with a regular wheel. The standard wheel weighs about 800 grams. The motorized wheel weighs about 3.2 kg, so the motor is about 2.4 kg. The battery is about 1.9 kg, so the entire kit will add about 4.3 kg to your bike. And this is the battery that comes with the kit. The website says it can last around 60 km. Of course, that depends on how hard we pedal by ourselves. The top of the battery also have the charging indicator and the charging port, so you can charge it without removing it. There is also a Bluetooth cadence sensor. In theory, we just need to connect the wheel to the battery and install the cadence sensor on the crank and we are done. When I was planning to put the battery in between the two front tubes, I bought this mark from Amazon. After trying it, I found it can indeed secure the battery very well, especially I used three of them. However, the size of battery originally fits perfectly, but with the added height from the mount, the battery no longer fits between the two tubes. So I put the battery in the C post for now. This is not so good, because now the bike cannot be full no more. Maybe I will find a better place to put a battery later. Anyways, it is like this for now. The instructions say once the bike starts moving, pedaling will activate the power assist. So we turn on the battery, pretend the bike is moving, and start pedaling. The installation was successful and it seems to be working nicely. There is also another accessory we can connect, which is the Bluetooth display and a throttle control. This one works too. And it rides pretty nice after the conversion. A good thing of this conversion is the bike still feels very much like the original one. The bike handles well and feels fit, just like how it was before. The power this e-bike provides is much less than I expected. I was expecting with 250 watt of assistance, it would be very quick. But it is much slower than I expected. You can clearly feel the motor assisting you as soon as you start pedaling. It is like you only use a little effort and it gives you the speed as if you are putting like 70 or 80% of effort. The assistance is noticeable but not overwhelming. Not like you are turning into a superhero. The top speed is around 28 km per hour. I asked the manufacturer if there is a speed limit lock, 
and they say the larger wheel version can reach higher speed, but small wheel version is indeed max out about around 28 km per hour. So this setup on a folding bike indeed make the rider feel easier, but not necessarily faster. Because even without power assistance, most riders can ride at 28 miles per hour on their own without problem. I think this setup is not designed to make you a superhero. It is meant for easy commuting. I personally really like the Bluetooth cadence sensor, but I noticed the system can even work without it. There is a mobile app to set up how the system works. The system would still work even no cadence center no throttle. Once you start riding, the motor activate by itself. It feels a bit odd at first, but you get used to it quickly. The only stranger part of this is how to stop the motor. You have to brake and force the bike to stop. Of course, the motor's torque is not very high, and my bike's disc brakes are very strong so I don't have any issues. But if the system could detect braking and the cut of the power, it would be even more comfortable to use. The display screen is nice. It shows speed and remaining battery. You can also manually control the throttle with it. Even the system can work without a screen, but it is nice to have it. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.